Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. We answer publicly posted questions, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney, usually not today. Uh, today we're going to do a little current events. We're actually doing an arc of current events because the world is changing. The world of collectivized labor, the world of uh, how labor is valued is all in flux right now. And we have to touch upon uh, those current events because we're on the eve, the eve of Striketober. Um, big fan of Striketober. Big fan of collectivized labor. Organized labor is where it's at. Uh, nope, not a communist, not a socialist. Those are really dumb systems for dumb people. Capitalism has, without question, reduced human suffering more than any other economic system ever created by humanity. That being said, doesn't mean workers can't work together, right? There's a lot to be said for that. And um, cue all the people posting from reddit no work where they're like no nah, we shouldn't have to work free money for everybody yeah okay go ahead good luck um good luck with that uh anyways listen where are we starting with okay it's gonna be a link down below to a video about jim kramer the famously stupid um talking head on the internet who like suggests stocks and you make a lot of money if you do the exact opposite, right? There's actually investment funds that specifically their pitches. We do the opposite of Jim Cramer. Um, listen, I don't know how his performance is. I don't want to make representations that might not be accurate. I view him as a pumping up artist where he like pumps up stocks that he has no business pumping. Uh, kind of with like a low understanding. If you give him the best possible treatment here, he has a low understanding and he's just talking into a camera. The more nefarious version of this is he pumps up stocks that he knows aren't going to do well so people can make money by selling those at high prices. And then uh, when the stocks tank, people he told to buy them are hurt, right? Which is it? I don't know because I don't want to be sued for defamation, disparagement, all these things. But anyways, he was on TV getting riled up, riled up about the UPS workers making about 170 k Some of the drivers, some of the drivers from UPS, following the recent union negotiation they had, uh, with benefits and everything chalked in together, we make it about 170 k And Jim Cramer is just fighting mad about it. Fighting mad, Jim. Not the best nickname. But um, he's, he's riled about it. And uh, I'm not. I'm not. You know how hard it is to be a UPS driver? You know how hot those trucks get? You know how much weight you're moving? You know how complex it is to drive that truck around city streets? Park that thing? It, it, you know how often they get mugged? Like, enough already. That is a hard job. 170K is not enough as far as I'm concerned. Now, that's all fine, well, and good. And Jim Cramer can go, ha 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 himself. But there's more people than just Jim Cramer opposed to the UPS drivers making 170 k Who might you ask? Who's upset? Is it the FedEx workers? No. No. They're applying at UPS. Um, it's office workers. It's the uh, the white collar crowd. You'll notice I have a blue collar on today. I'm not really blue collar, but it's, you know, it's for the look. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of office folks who make between 40 and 170k doing jobs of different levels of complexity different kinds of thought work different kinds of paper pushing and they're all sitting there watching the ups workers getting 170k and a lot of them on social media are saying um well i have a more complex job i am a director of hr i'm a this i'm a that i don't make 170k why should some lowly big brown ups driver get 170k that i mean this is i've i've had these i've had to watch these discussions i don't engage with these people um but first off listen it's not a zero-sum game if you want more money go do something to get yourself more money right like that's not it's not ups workers should make less it's you should make more so don't start chipping away at you know don't start stabbing at the foundation of the ups workers and what they achieved on this you should say Boss, UPS workers are making 170K now. I, I think we need to talk about compensation. But more importantly, like, there's a lot of jobs where you just 
move paper, right? There's a lot of jobs where you're not really doing that much, right? Desk jobs are kind of chill. You got AC. You're hanging out. A lot of time you're watching the scores on ESPN, right? Like there's the YouTube. People get on YouTube and watch me while they're at their work, right? That's probably not the hardest job. I kid. All of you watching me, you're great people. Um, so this idea that you deserve to earn more than a UPS worker because your mommy told you UPS workers aren't like high class people. The problem is not with the UPS workers or their compensation. The problem is with your mama. Your mama was shit. Mama can go fuck herself. People doing real work, hard jobs, deserve to get paid. People who play the game smart, organize, work together, and fight back, they deserve to get paid. And your mama was just a dumb person who told you that plumbers and electricians and UPS workers didn't deserve to get paid. That you should go to college because people who go to college are better than those other people. Guess what? Plumbers routinely make half a million a year. Routinely. Do they have to work with plumbing? They sure do. Is their workday shorter than yours? I don't know, but it's definitely shorter than mine. I'll tell you that right now. Okay? Um, and they deserve every penny of it. And they often end up owning their own businesses. Electricians often end up owning their own businesses. Master carpenters, right? Like, the, I have a friend who works metal, does these amazing, beautiful art sculptures out of, out of laser and water-drilled metal. It's incredible. Works with his hands. Master welder, right? Does well for himself, as he should. He can do welds that keep literal tanks from falling apart when they get hit with missiles. Tell me that's not worth 170k on a $30 million tank, right? I think it might be. Um, so what I'm saying here is, let me reiterate, the solution is not to say that the UPS worker should earn less. That's not the solution. And the solution is very much not to say, those people aren't educated. Your, your degree is in something stupid. Statistically speaking, your degree is probably in something stupid. Is your degree in STEM? No, it's probably in something stupid. I know that my degree is in something stupid. I have a degree in prehistory. Why? I didn't want to remember dates. <laughs> I have minors in Japanese and philosophy, East Asian philosophy. Were those fun? Yes. Did I use my Japanese when I lived in Japan? Sure did. Loved it. Was that a smart degree to get? No. 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 <laughs> No, 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 not at all. Those were stupid degrees. Those were stupid decisions made by stupid mints. And stupid decisions beget less earnings, right? You know who made great decisions? The plumber. Plumber made fantastic decisions. How? Why? Took the lay of the land, looked around and said, this looks like it might work out for me. I might have a better life with more economic opportunity if I do these things. I don't know if college... I don't know if the university program necessarily serves my interest. Certainly the average liberal arts degree might not. There's nothing wrong with these degrees. I have I have these degrees. I'm not I'm not inherently saying, you know, there's something wrong with you if you have these degrees. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you're not better than people because you have that degree. Right? I don't feel less than because I have a degree in history. I'm not do I feel like I did some dumb shit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure do. Uh worked out great for me though. It's fine. Everything's swell. Um, but, you know, could I have gotten perhaps a more intelligent degree that might have ultimately uh, fed into what I do for a living? Like, I know a guy who's got a degree in organized uh, labor management. Like, you know, labor relations, I believe, was the degree out of Cornell. Um, that's a great, that's a fantastic degree for someone who's going to grow up and be an employment attorney. Sure wish I'd studied that course of... Uh, Study. I mean, that, that, that'd be real nice, right? Not the same as like, well, rice cultivation began at some point 30,000 years before history. Was... We don't know. We don't know that, right? I'm just talking out of my, my, my took us here. But um, there's just different qualities in, in terms of the usefulness of a degree. Degrees are not all made equal. And 
when you say, I've got a degree, so I should make more than that person, and that person's a UPS driver, whose job is, frankly, very likely to be much more intellectually difficult than yours, right? If you're an office worker, is it possible your job is more intellectually demanding than a UPS worker's? It is possible. Is it likely? It's not. It's not. Most office workers do close to nothing, right? Don't get me wrong. If you're an office worker, I want to help you. I'm not attacking office workers. Uh, sure sounds like it though, right? But I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm saying. Good for the UPS workers. Good for them. Very much so. Video down below about the UPS workers and Jim Cramer being an asshole. Like and subscribe, everybody. Helps me to help more people just like you.